Hello students, this is your Chindu Gaud. In today's video, I am going to let you all know the important concepts as well as the questions related to the course Hydrology and Water Resource Engineering under JNTUH R18 for Civil Engineering students. Let us look at each and every concept and do prepare as per the COVID pattern, we all are aware that of 8 questions you are supposed to attempt any 5. I am going to give you certain important tips and important questions in between. Please do not skip this video and watch till the end. First, we look at the very very important and much awaiting as well as the gunshot question is related to hydrologic cycle equation that is used to quantify water going through various individual parts of a cycle with a neat sketch as well as the applications related to this is one of the gunshot questions related to this cycle dear students. Later, precipitation and its types and the characteristics as well as the measurement later the rainfall measurement for mean precipitation over an area based on arithmetic thesis as well as isohytal methods and the problems related to it related to precipitation this is one of the gunshot question we can expect this may be 1a as well as this may be the 1b and later i am going to let you know on 2a and 2b and also the rain gauge network based on this a problem as well as pmp as well as depth area relationship as well as depth uh, deviation relationship need to be worked out dear students make sure to work out these things and this may be the 2a from this part and a problem based on it later consistency of a rainfall records and the estimation may be the problem that may be the 2b question and do not expect direct question from 15 mark dear students it is a split of a b combination 8 7 as well as 10 5 combination and make sure that the course hydrology and water resource engineering is not only the theory it is all about the derivations as well as problems dear students later let us look at the unit 2 it is all about the factors affecting infinite Filtration as well as the classification of infiltration and index may be one of the 8 mark question we can expect it in third question as well as the factors affecting runoff as well as its components as well as evapotranspiration is also one of the very very important question and based on this a problem may be asked and that may be 3b question dear students later to calculate the net rainfall over basin using double index a problem is asked several number of times please do practice problems from this unit later evapotro ev evapotranspiration measurement equation based on Penman as well as Banley uh, riddle method as well as the potential and actual evapotranspiration is also one of the very very important question that may be 4a dear students in the question paper. Later flow duration as well as mass curves of runoff uh, based on runoff a problem may be asked and the problem is asked several number of times based on runoff as well as runoff estimating methods using SCS and CM. These are the questions I can expect from these concepts one question and from from this concepts a gunshot question for sure and make sure to work out the problem from unit 2 dear students. Do not forget to carry your calculator to the examination hall to make your problems to work out very fast. Later in the unit 3 the very very important and gunshot question related to hydrograph any of the question may be comes from hydrograph that is unit hydrograph and the methods of hydrograph with a neat sketch and how do you obtain uh, the sketch fr from a given direct runoff. This is one of the very very important and gunshot question and synthetic hydrograph it's, and the limitations of the hydrograph applications as well as certain derivations and the problems may be the fifth question based on this concept in the examination dear students. Later hydrograph a distribution of runoff is one of the very very important question if this is A and this may be the B part as well as analysis flood and effective rainfall and the problems based on this make sure to work out and practice even the problems. Later the direct runoff hydrograph unit pulse as well as unit step functions I am expecting till here uh, from here to here the two questions or sometimes if you look into the syllabus of the course hydrology and water resource engineering the fourth unit two lengthy in its structure and we can expect one and a half question from unit three as well as one and a half question from unit four or two from unit three or one from unit of four dear students and make sure to cover all these concepts which I am letting you know why because the unit uh, the course is all about 70 percent of the theory and the 30 percent of derivations as well as the problems. Later 
we can expect one and a half question or one question from unit 4 is all about the aquifers uh, problem or the derivation or the types related to the aquifers is one of the gunshot question confined and unconfined, uh, unconfined aquifers and the derivations related to steady radial flow into wells is asked several number of times as I have kept here again the aquifers and they may be asking you the differences also to work out and the problems related to it. Dear students how to write a theory paper to score a better mark in JNT examination a video is being posted and uploaded in my channel please go through it and watch to get a better mark and you know you will be knowing that how to write the course later the wells and the types and the specific capacity as well as the discharge and the problems related to the wells is also very very important duty delta and base period and the relationships among them as well as the applications may be seven mark question if it is asked if you are expecting one question dear students it is too lengthy in its structure the unit 4 it is a combination of three uh, subcategories in this make sure to work out and if you work out the first three chapters you can for sure you get a better mark later drip irrigation system as well as the irrigation system types as well as the efficiencies of the irrigation systems and their advantages and limitations were also asked later define the terms like water logging crop rotation as well as soil water and plant relation to improve the methods of soil fertility and to work out the various Indian agriculture soils. This is one of the general question they may be asking you in the exam and these are the only questions which were asked several number of times as per the analysis done by me taking into consideration the previous year question papers. Make sure if you are working with the fourth unit you need to cover all these concepts and if you work out one, two, three I can expect that at least if five question comes from that and you can uh, expect all those five questions which I have explained here. Later, the fifth unit is all, all about the canals and the types as well as the design procedure of irrigation canals by Kendi as well as Lace the theory. The problems based on this are asked several number of times and we can expect this to be a gunshot question for this time. Later, canal outlets as well as water logging and their causes and effects may be also asked. As I told you students do not expect direct 15 mark. It is a split of 10 5 as well as 7 8 combination or 5 10 combination combination and the types of lining as well as their advantages and limitations as well as the methods and necessity of drainage of irrigated land. Dear students do not expect the direct questions in the examination paper they may be asking like related application related questions also related to the course hydrology and water uh, resource engineering. Make sure to work out all these concepts which I have covered in this video and expecting to use see a, a better performance in the examination as well as scoring a better mark and do not try to write your answers in paragraphs or write only in bulletin points I mean only in point wise to score a better mark and draw all the diagrams only in pencil and label them and do not forget to carry your calculator. If you are liking my videos please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this video to your friends who are going to take this course and if you are looking for any other course please do comment. I hope you are liking, subscribing as well as sharing this video. Thank you, good luck and God bless you all.